the truth is litty. Cause you ain't never talking loud and you know plenty. You know what I'm talking about cause you just get me. Yeah, you so pretty. If everything is dipped in gold, then baby it will never grow. Everything sweet ain't sugar cold. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Dylan Alexis, and I am back with another video. If you are a new subscriber here, my name is Dylan. I post nursing videos, lifestyle videos, vlogs, all this and that. And I am a second semester ABSN student, and ABSN student is for accelerated BSN program. So your girl is in a one-year program, and I graduate in August. So... If you're new here, be sure to join the fam. Cause yeah, we we making our way through. So um y'all can just see I just got ready for school. It's 7 eleven. I really need to be hurrying up to head out the door. But I need to pack my bag up. I normally pack my bag up the night before, but I don't I just I didn't feel like doing it last night, but yeah, um Today we have lecture, and y'all, I ain't gonna lie, I have not been going to class, like, between, um, so my first class starts at 8, it's from like 8 until 10, and then my next class don't start until 1, like, I don't know who was responsible for making me schedule that way, but it does not work for me, because I'm not about to just sit up at school for all that time when we could have had class back to back and been done way right earlier in the day so i'm gonna do my best to stay at school today and i'm gonna try to use that time productively to do get some work done and some studying and stuff so yeah i'm gonna pack my bag up and y'all i had to if y'all watch my nursing video my nursing haul then y'all will know i had a backpack that I got from Amazon, y'all have to ditch that backpack. Oh my gosh, that backpack was turned my back up. Like, this is my backpack I used to use when I was in my first undergrad program. Um, this is just a Victoria's Secret backpack. And like, when I compared the weight difference to, with both of them, this had nothing in it. And the Amazon backpack didn't have nothing in it. The Amazon backpack was like easily like a pound and a half heavier just by itself. I think with all the padding and cushioning that and stuff they put on the back to try to make it more comfortable, it did not work. So this is my backpack I've been carrying. Um, I gotta put my laptop in here. Okay, y'all, I couldn't finish talking to y'all because I was starting to talk too much and I need to pack my bag. But yeah, I got my backpack. Um, I'm going to go to the gym after school, and I got my lunch. For lunch today, I got lamb chops and mashed potatoes. I went out to eat with my cousins yesterday, and so, of course, I had leftovers. So, I'm going to be eating quite good for lunch today. But, y'all, let me just give y'all a quick little rundown. So, because I know it had been a minute since I posted, and then the, my most recent upload is, like, from almost a month ago. So... Um, make sure y'all follow me on TikTok because like I said, it is so much easier for me to um, just make the TikToks, make short form content versus long form. So I do have some TikToks posted. But anyways, let me tell y'all so about how this semester been going. So we had our first two exams. Well, we've had our, all three of our exams. Now, I only have three exam tested classes. I'm taking five, but only three are exam tested. So I've had exams all of the classes that I am supposed to. So my first two exams, I literally bombed them, y'all. Like, y'all know anything in a nursing school, anything in nursing school, like, 
75 and above is considered passing. I literally made 66s on both of them. And y'all know they say bad things coming three. So I'm like, oh my gosh, like I'm going to fail my third exam with another 66. But I wasn't having it. So I had a good study day. Um, I went, I got out the house and I went to this place in Memphis called the Memphis Chess Club and I studied, studied, studied real hard for the exam, for my next exam and I ended up passing it. So I think I just had to get back into the the feel of exam taking because it had been a while since we had exams and just getting back into being in nursing school for real, for real because that's really the, the main part of it is taking the exam. So, had to get back into that but honestly I can say I've been in a much better mindset this semester like last semester if I would have failed two exams back to back like I would have went into a black hole like wouldn't have been talking to nobody like just completely shut down like um, I would have just completely shut down so I'm so proud of myself that this semester instead of letting those two bad grades like get me down um I kept my head up high and I figured out a different plan to improve my grades so that's all the only thing you can do um because I you gotta just learn how to keep moving in nursing school you're not gonna be able to pass everything some may be able to pass everything but I'm not one of those type of people um I do what I can I, I try my best and that's it I'm not gonna beat myself up about it so I'm very grateful for that. I can say um, that journaling, um, I have a journal. I don't write in it every day because I don't feel like I have something to write about every day. But every, whenever I feel the need to journal, it, it's normally days apart. But journaling has been able to help me um, not wear my feelings on my sleeve and also going to the gym. Like, I was going to the gym last semester, but um, when nursing school got hard, I just stopped everything, like, and I feel like that's another reason why, like, last semester, like, I was going through the fields because I, I was, it was literally just nursing school day in, day out. I didn't have any other outlets, like, nothing, and I, something else, like, last semester before school started, I was reading books a lot. When school started, I didn't have time to read books, so like I said, I just didn't have an outlet to help me decompress or just relax or just something to do outside of doing nursing school work. Yeah, the light keep getting bad, but yeah, that's enough rumbling, y'all. I just want to give y'all a little rundown, a little update, because like I said, that video that I just posted was like from a month ago, and a lot happens in a month. But yeah, we just on the way to school. It is... 729, 730. And yeah, we have two classes today. Um concepts is my first class. It's from 8 a.m. until 10. And then I have reproduction, which is like maternal health, is from 1 to 3. And then after class, I'm gonna go to the gym and then come home and go do some studying and stuff. So that's pretty much the plan for today. So I'll talk to y'all later. So I made it to the school. I'm walking to class now. Hey y'all. So we're done with class. We always get done early in consults. It's 9.21. Y'all, the next class don't start until 1. 1. But this is a good way for me to utilize my time wisely. Um, normally, I do my planner for the week on Sundays, but I didn't get a chance to do it yesterday, so. Only been a few hours, but it felt like days. Only been days, but it felt like months. Only gone for a year, only go like once. Life moves fast when you do what you want. This time I'm doing what I want Hope you know what you want
I did my planner. So now, um, I'm, uh, is your plan for me? I think you thought you were talking to me. I'm like, huh? So, um, yeah, I'm catching up on my notes because we have an exam on Friday. So I'm rewatching one of the tutor sessions and I'm just adding notes to this little exam blueprint. Yeah, we got a lot of time to kill, so I should be able to get this done and then some. This look like Tyler Perry, but she don't love me, she too scary. My hope is fun like Jackie Brown. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> I wanna know what she can sit down. Will you be my leading lady? I want a contract, get no baby. So y'all saying I just moved to my so I'm active recall for the stuff on diabetes. Um, I'm gonna eat my lunch and then class started at one. So I probably gonna call it a motherfucking brat for now. But this is what I got for lunch, y'all. Ooh, what y'all know about it? I had went out to eat with my cousins last night and I got some lamb chop. 10 out of 10. Hey y'all, I am home from school. It's been a long day. And I have a meeting with my teacher at 4. I need to go ahead and pull that up so it's ready because it's 3.48 right now. Um, school was okay today. My concepts class, I enjoy going to that class. But my second class, which was maternal health, baby. Just, I'm, I was so lost and confused. It's just crazy because we spent two hours in class just for me to have to come home and do an hour tutoring session where I learned more than I did in the two hours. Like, it's ridiculous. Okay. Came home to some Amazon packages. Okay, y'all, this is definitely like something irrelevant, but um, it's just this little acrylic holder for me to put my sticky notes in because I just have them sitting on my desk and they be like falling over and stuff, so. Just got this to put those in, so because I love me a good sticky note. Let me show y'all. Yeah, love me a good sticky note. And then we got one more. Yeah, I don't even feel like there's nothing in here. Why did they put this in a box? They could have put this in a box. Is something else in here? Oh, oh, it is something else in here. Okay. So, first thing first, well, not first thing first, but this is something else I got, um, bass reels. Because normally, um, when we go to, I keep my clinical badge and my, like, my school badge all on the same thing. But now since I have, um, 
three different clinicals. I'm going to try to keep them separate. So I just got some badge reels. I'm sure y'all have seen these before. Very popular. And I'll be sure to link this stuff in my Amazon storefront. So, yeah. Got some cute little badge reels. Um, I got me a new Apple Watch band. This is my current Apple Watch band, but I just feel like this one, this band is more appropriate for clinical. And if it gets dirty, it can just easily be wiped off or whatever. So, I got this. And I like that it's clear. Hopefully, this fits a little. Yeah, but got a new Apple Watch band in the last box. So this is um to something else to go on my badge. It just has like a highlighter, um, little multicolor pen, and a sharpie. And like I said, since I have more clinicals this semester, I needed this. And it was something else I bought for clinical. Um, I ordered it yesterday. I thought it was gonna be ready. Um, I did a pickup order. I thought it was going to be ready, but it's not ready yet, so I may not even be able to take it to clinical tomorrow, but um, I end up buying me a bog bag because my bag smart bag, don't get me wrong, I still love this bag. Flat iron in there. I still love my bag. It's just, it's not big enough. And like I said, I have more clinicals, which means more stuff, so um, I was going to get the large size in this bag. This is the medium size, but I was like, I might as well just get a whole new bag. So, got me a bog bag from Dillard's, and it's really like the same color as this bag. Y'all know pink is a lifestyle. Um, so, yeah, that's what I got from Amazon, and I'm just waiting on my teacher to start this meeting. Hopefully, she didn't forget because it still say. She waiting to start the meeting. But yeah, that was pretty much it for today. That was school. Um, tomorrow I have clinical from I have to be there at six o'clock. Like at six o'clock I have to be on the floor, suited and booty, ready to go. Ready to get my um patient assignment. So yeah, I just wanted to give y'all a little update. And um I still want to go to the gym. I'm going to see. Maybe I can go after this meeting. I hate going at this time because this is when everybody get off work and they go to the gym. So, it'll be super packed. But, yeah. That's pretty much it, y'all. So, if I don't talk to y'all for the rest of tonight, then I will talk to y'all tomorrow morning. Hey, y'all. So, it is a little bit later. Can y'all tell I've been at the gym? Like, Normally, when I've been going to the gym, I put a scarf on, but I don't know. I just didn't want to wear a scarf today, and this is the end result, so I'm going to touch my leave, up, leave out up right quick in there. I'm going to get in the shower, do, try to do a little bit of studying, and then I need to try to go to bed because I do have to be at clinical at 6 o'clock. So, but it's like normally the night before, the night before I have to go to clinical, I can never go to sleep. And then if I do finally go to sleep, like I'm just tossing and turning the whole night or I'm waking up every other hour because I'm paranoid that I'm going to oversleep. So, that's no fun. But, yeah, I'm just going to touch my hair up, put some more flexi rise in it, um, I ended up doing a spin class, a spin class, which that was my first time doing one, and it was actually pretty good. My butt was it's just hurting really bad because the seats are very uncomfortable, and um, that's really it. just my butt and my legs was burning too because I normally do the treadmill, but I don't do it for that long. The class forty five minutes, so. But yeah, y'all, I'm finna fix my hair, and like I said, I already told y'all what I'm finna do, I'm, but anyways, I'll talk to y'all in the morning.
Hey y'all, so it's the next morning. It's 4.56 right now. I'm already dressed. I'm not to touch my edges up. If I can find it. Um, I already did my... I packed my bag last night and I packed my lunch last night. So, really the only thing I have to do is just finish getting ready. And head out the house. My I want to be gone at the house by 5:20, maybe a little earlier, since it is the first day, and um, I gotta get situated with parking. Where's my edge control? Oh, here it is. Okay. So yeah, and I forgot to look last night at where we supposed to park. So I'm gonna check on it in a second. I sweated my hair out so bad last night. Ooh, this is the one thing about trying to be active and having the soul witnesses. Or I should say trying to be active and be natural with the soul witnesses. Yeah, I am so very tired of like, I knew it was going to happen, that it was going to take me a long time to go to sleep, which it did. And then when I did finally go to sleep, it was like I just kept waking up every other hour. So, I'm going to probably have to take me a nap after today. Not a long one, but definitely I'm going to have to take a nap. Maybe like for an hour. And then I'm going to get up and start studying. And then I have to get up again at this time tomorrow. Lord, I'm I'm not gonna be able to do it. But yeah, I'm gonna finish getting ready. And yeah, so I can head out the door. And of course I can't record in clinical well at least like bring my camera in clinical. So, I may try to get whatever I can on my phone, like, maybe me working on my care plan or something, but, yeah, so, I will talk to y'all later. Hey, y'all, so, I am home from clinical. Um, I know this morning I said I was going to try to record what I could. Unfortunately, that did not happen. Um, since today was our first day of clinical... And I'm at a different hospital than what I was last semester. We were just trying to get oriented to the floor. And some people didn't have access to the computer. So, it was just a lot going on. But, um, I got my care plan done. Yeah, I don't know. But I personally feel like I'm the GOAT when it comes to care plans. Like, last semester, 100, 100, 100, 100, 100 on all my care plans. Another 100 today. Like, that's how you stand on big business. But... But I do wish we got to do a little bit more today. Um, but my patient didn't really have a lot of medical issues going on with him. Like, no heparin. Like, I didn't get to give him any shots or anything. Nothing like that. The only thing I was able to do was do his AccuCheck. And I was able to show my classmate how to do an AccuCheck because she hadn't had the opportunity to see it don't be done or you know do it herself so yeah and then y'all let me show y'all what i get yeah girl got a bob bag so um if y'all follow me on tiktok y'all know i do have my other clinical bag which is my bag smart bag but it really can't hold a lot of stuff because i got it in a medium size i still got a large but and I was going to buy the same bag over, but I'm like, this kind of dumb. Let me just get a whole different type of bag. So, got me a bag, smart bag. And, you know, all the nursing girlies have one of these. Um, easier to sanitize, all that good stuff. And it has a, it definitely has more space in it than my other bag. It just doesn't have a lot of compartments. But, I don't really need the compartments anyways. Um, and I ordered, like, I got some... 
little charms to put in here. They should. They supposed to be getting coming today if they not already here. But yeah, that was pretty much clinical today. I hate I couldn't show y'all nothing because I know this vlog is just pretty much gonna be me sitting and, and talking. But y'all know. You can't break HIPAA in a healthcare field, and especially because my YouTube channel has already been under scrutiny before with my school. I just don't want to give them any more reason to try to tell me I can't record, like, for nursing stuff. So, yeah, sorry about that, y'all. But tomorrow we have clinical again, and tomorrow is labor and delivery clinical. I'm actually kind of excited and I'm nervous at the same time because I am terrified of childbirth. I do not have kids. I don't want to imagine something that I have in between my legs opening up to be this big. This is about probably even a little wider than this. About how much the cervix can dilate. It's definitely probably bigger than this. But like just... No, but I have heard that the people that have been going to labor and delivery clinical have said that they've been able to do a lot more stuff like doing foley's and inserting IVs and stuff like that. So I'm pretty excited about that. But yeah, I'm finna kind of chill and decompress a little bit because it has been a very long day. And then I'm gonna start studying for my exam. I'm not going to go to the gym today because I need to be utilizing my time to study for my exam because I have to do good on this exam. So, yeah, I just want to give y'all a little rundown of how the day went. And, yeah, in my clinical bag, I'm going to be posting a what's in my clinical bag soon or what, like, or clinical essentials. So, y'all stay tuned for that. But, um, yeah, I'll probably talk to y'all tomorrow. Hey, y'all. So, it is the next day. Y'all, I have to tell y'all about my day. Like, so, my plan was I was going to do like a get ready with me type situation. But, your girl overslept this morning. I was supposed to be at clinical at 6.45. At 6.45, I was supposed to be in the building, ready to go, like, that's the start time y'all didn't wake up until 6 like 25 almost 6 30 and i stay like 30 minutes away from school so y'all do the math then this was my first time at this hospital so y'all do the math on it it was just the morning was not going good then i get up and i pick my apple watch up she's dead because of this case is so bulky that it wasn't laying flat on my Apple Watch charger, so that cost to be dead. So I'm like, oh my gosh, if I need to look at a timer or a clock or something, my watch is dead. So that was just like the icing on the cake for me this morning. And then I couldn't find parking. Like, it was just a mess. I was so annoyed and irritated by the time I got there. So we get there, um, and we go on the floor or whatever, and she assigns us like nurses to work with so um i end up being an eval which is like the triage so if for somebody if a woman is suspected to be in labor she'll go to triage first to see you know how far along her contractions are and all of that so that's the area i was in but only one person came in and they end up discharging her because she wasn't in labor so I didn't get to do anything today, which is a bummer because I have high expectations for my labor and delivery clinical just off what I've heard from other people in my group who had already started the um, labor and delivery clinical, like that they got to do Foley's and IVs and hang fluids and meds and all this stuff. So I was like, I just knew like, even though my morning started off bad, it was going to be better because I had room to do stuff which didn't happen so yeah i've been back home for a little bit um i had to go give me some lunch um i have to do my concept map which is like the care plan but i didn't have a patient so my clinical instructor just had to come up with something for me to be able to do my concept map over so 
yeah, I'm about to work on that and then I'm just going to study for my exam for the rest of the night. Y'all, my head is itching so bad. I think it's almost time to take this so in and out. Well, yeah, that was pretty much my day. And I ordered me a real alarm clock because the phone is not reliable. I don't know if my phone was on silent or what, but I did not have my alarm. My alarm was set to go off at 530, which would allow me more. No, actually, I think it was like 5, like 515 and 530 was the latest one. And I didn't hear anything. So I got me an actual alarm clock. And um, that I ordered from Amazon, so hopefully they come in soon. But yeah, yeah, I just want to give y'all a little rundown of the day since I didn't get to talk to y'all this morning. And I'm about to just do some work, so I will talk to y'all later. Hey, right, I'm, I know I said I was going to talk to y'all later, but I forgot that this came in the mail. I just want to show it to y'all. How cute is this? little nursing sweatshirt um i got this from etsy i'll be sure to link it down below but i bought this because y'all know we have to wear scrubs every day like you know how most schools you have the opportunity like when you go to class you can just wear whatever you want we don't have that privilege we have to wear scrubs so most of the time i just wear like some type of like nursing shirt and then i wear the scrub pants so um i went ahead and i ordered this little pink shirt sweatshirt from Etsy. Y'all can see it got nursing stuff on here. Copa Von, Copa, whatever it's called. Coffee. Not a coffee girl. I'm a Red Bull girl, but Stanley Cup gloves. The whole nine. And I'm about to put this on now while I'm doing my work. But yeah, I just want to show y'all my cute little sweatshirt. Hey y'all. So it is the next day. And I'm finna get ready to go meet my old CNA teacher because she's starting a um a LPN program and she just wants to see like what some of the study stuff I use and like all that stuff so she can re recommend it you know for her program. So I'm finna go meet her and then after that um, we're gonna go study. So tomorrow is the exam. So today is like the final day that I can study. And yesterday was my dad's birthday, and we went out, and uh, we went to this Mexican restaurant, and, like, the whole time I was there, I was, like, writing everything down on napkins, like, just doing some active recall. So, I feel pretty good about this exam, but I still have time to study, so I'm going to use it. So, um, I'm about to pack my bag, and then we're going to head out. Hey y'all, so I met with my old um, teacher and now I just made it to the coffee shop. So we finna get ready to go in. And from the outside, I can tell you, it probably looks really nice in there. It's called Congregation Coffee. So let's go in. Look at her. Look at the woman, man. Look at her. That ain't my. That ain't my. That ain't my girl. That's my nigga. Catch me out on Ocean Drive with her. Catch me in the whip, ride with her. Sipping something, bumping big, hypnotized with her. Pray you get that job in Tampa. That's only four hours away. Take a car, take a plane, baby, whichever is faster. Oh, whichever one is in the household. Oh, damn, yeah, man. Oh, never knew, no, I never knew that you be a freak and a friend, too. Yeah, you into everything I'm into. Oh, I got something that I can lend you. Oh, a peace of mind, baby. Come and get a peace of mind. Hey, y'all. So, I am home from studying. I feel like I had a pretty good study session. 
Um, I was there from like 12. Let me see, actually, before I get the line. Let me see. I was there from 12.30 until 3.30. They closed at 4, which is why I left at 3.30. And I just want to be traffic. Um, but anyways, yeah, I feel like I had a good study session. Um, I feel pretty good about this exam. I just need to really rememorize um, my ABG stuff. And I need to rememorize my uh, lab values. The only ones we need to know for this exam, white blood cells, red blood cells, hemoglobin, hematocrit, potassium, and sodium. I know potassium, sodium, and white blood cells. I just can't remember the hematocrit, the red blood cells. Hematocrit, red blood cells, and hemoglobin. I got to rememorize those. So... That's probably what I just I'm gonna focus on tonight, but yeah. We got some Amazon packages. So I'm gonna need up now. So um I got some stuff for makeup. Cause I did I did start back doing makeup. So uh, these are just like some little lip applicator brushes to help blend in. Blend in my gloss, and y'all told y'all got me a real digital clock because yesterday really had me pissed off. I was, I couldn't, couldn't be mad at nobody but myself, but still, I just was very upset. So, I got me a real alarm clock, and I said, Y'all, why this look like a phone? <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna set this up in a second, but. Real long time, and I got one more package. Uh, this is just something else for makeup, uh, disposable stuff because I ran out of my, I ran out of these, so, and I, yeah, I just ran out of these, and then. You can never have too many disposable products being a makeup artist. So, this stuff has to go to the shop. Studying for the rest of the uh, ready. Uh, studying for the rest of the night. And then tomorrow I have class. I gotta update my calendar because tomorrow is March the 1st. So, I have to update my March calendar. But, yeah, I have class tomorrow. Pretty much all day. So. I'll try to record what I can tomorrow, but yeah, that's pretty much it, y'all. Um, like I said, I'm studying for the rest of the night, so I will talk to y'all later. Hey, y'all. It is the next morning. Yeah, I think it's about time for me to take this sewing down. Okay, y'all, let me see what classes I have today. Normally, I could just look at my little calendar right here, but it is March 1st. So, happy March 1st. I hope everybody have a great March going to the month with positive thinking. So, let's go to March. So, today I have concepts from 8 to 10. And then I have peas from 10 15 to 12 30. And then I have evidence based practice from 3 to 5. And then I have my exam at 1 30. So, as y'all can hear, it's going to be a long day. Hopefully, we can get out of class by like 4. That's usually the time frame but we have all these stupid group projects and last time we had a group project it was like 520 when I left school which is ridiculous like and it's group projects like evidence based practice is not an in, in exam tested class it's really just a filler class they gave us so that is very annoying because it's like i could be doing 
something else with that time like or this could have been an online class literally why is it not an online class anyways y'all um i'm gonna get ready and head out it is 6 58 um i packed my lunch already just gotta put my ipad in here I'm going to try to get some classroom content because I haven't been able to get, like, any, of course, any clinical content for y'all. So, yeah, I will talk to y'all later or I'll see y'all in class. Your brain should want some kind of way. It's going to tell you to get more Establish River IV. I would say so. It's not fancy, but you need an IV, correct? You need an IV. If you're... Hey y'all, so we done with the first class. My second class started at 10 15. It's 9 27. So I'm doing some active recall. Just to study. But like I said, I feel pretty good about this exam. So. So we got a, a little bit of an hour to try to study, but I don't feel like I need to study no more for this. Like it, at this point, either you know it or you don't, and I feel like I know it. So, but trying to sit in class and retain information for four four hours is crazy. Yeah, I passed my exam. We passed our exam. Fuck me. We we passed and. Yeah, I really just want to cry. Like, I just feel so emotional, but I'm not going to cry because I'm not a punk-ass bitch. <laughs> but, like, if y'all know, I told you, I did so bad on the first exam. So, for me to be able to come back and get what I got, I got an 86, y'all. I had a 66 on the last exam. So, like, a 20-point difference. Like, it's a blessing. Yes, it is. And I think somebody said lemon drop or two or five. So, we got one more class and then we're done for today. So, oh, this, I don't even know if I'm going to stay in this class, y'all. Like, what's the time? Don't get me started on it. But, anyways. <laughs> hey, y'all. So, I've been back home from school for a little bit. Um. I just been talking to my mama about the exam because y'all yeah, it's just such a great feeling when you messed up and then you come back and you do 10 times better like like I said earlier I could really cry because like that first exam it didn't bum me out but it kind of did like I was like damn like for the first exam like to make a 66 it was kind of crazy but I end up being able to come back and like a whole 20 point difference. Like I studied and all hard all week. I got out the house to study and clearly it made an improvement on my grades. So I'm very grateful about that. But y'all pretty and go out with my cousins to celebrate. You're gonna go get some seafood and hookah and all of that. I do have another exam on Friday, but I'm just going to take today for myself and then tomorrow I'll get back into preparing for that exam. So, y'all, this is going to be the end of this vlog. I hope y'all like this vlog. I hope it wasn't too boring. I'm Hey, I really can't show y'all nothing, but, yeah, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and I will catch y'all in another episode of Nursing School Diaries. <laughs>